Good day! It's mathematics time again and it's teacher Luyette here. We have here a simple activity. A recall is call. So we have now... Arithmetic sequence is a sequence having common difference. We know that one. Then, we have the formula. A of n is equal to A of 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times your common difference. I, an activity for you is that determine whether it is an arithmetic sequence or not. Simple activity I prepared for you. Just recall because we will be needing this one if we will be having our lesson for today which is all about arithmetic means. Now, number 1, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Is this an arithmetic sequence or not? We have a common difference which is 2. So therefore, it is an arithmetic sequence. So we have... The next one, 4, 16, 64, 256. Arithmetic or not, obviously we do not have a common difference, so therefore it is not an arithmetic sequence. The next one is 48, 24, 12, 6. Arithmetic or not, it is not an arithmetic sequence because the number decreases, although it decreases, it has a pattern, it is do not have do not have a common difference, so therefore it is not an arithmetic sequence. Then we have also 1, 4, 9, 16. It is not an arithmetic sequence still. Then we have also that one. Negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, negative 11. It is an arithmetic sequence. Our common difference is negative 3. Find the missing term in each arithmetic sequence. 5, 12, 26. Then you have... Another term. The common difference is 7, so we add 7 to 12 to get 19, and we add 7 to 26 to get 33. So the missing terms are 19 and 33. How about now the first term and the last term is missing? The common difference is 6, so we just subtract 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and 16 plus 6 is 22. So we have negative 2 and 22. How about now 4 and then 2 terms missing, then you have 19 and 24. Your common difference there is 5, so we add 5 to make it 9 and to make it 14. Now, let us have arithmetic means. If we deal with arithmetic means, these are term or terms between two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. For example, may I use this as an example? Between 4 and 24, we have how many arithmetic means we have between 4 and 24? We have 3, 9, 14, and 19. Meaning, terms inside two non-consecutive terms is considered to be an arithmetic mean or means. Between 4 and 19, how many terms do we have? We have two terms, 9 and 14. So we have two arithmetic means between 4 and 19 and so on. So always remember, if we have an arithmetic mean or means, these are term or terms between two non-consecutive terms in a given arithmetic sequence. So, now, let us have an example here. It is easy for us to determine the arithmetic means here as long as we can identify your common difference. We just add your common difference to the preceding number to get the next number. How about now if we have the given problem here? Insert four arithmetic means between 5 and 25. So, let us insert four arithmetic means between 5 and 25. Our for our uh, two terms given, 5 and 25. So we have, I need a screen now. There you have it. So we are going to insert how many terms again? We have four terms between 5 and 25. Our first term given is 5, then four arithmetic means. 1, 2, 3, 4, then you have also 25. So, from this one, we can identify, we can, we can assume that this will be your first term. For example, then 25 here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is your sixth term. So, you have your ace of 6. 
So, from here, how are we going to identify the terms between 5 and 25? Some of you may just say, oh, we just add 3, we just add 4, or trial and error method. But we can stop this, this one using your formula for an arithmetic sequence. What is our formula again? I, re, I, I gave you a while ago. That is, a sub n is equal to our first term plus the quantity n minus 1 times our common difference. But, we do not have our common difference, but we have our a sub n. Our a sub n is a sub 6, which is also 25. Our n is also given, which is 6, and our first term is given. So, we can solve for the common difference. As long as we have two terms given in an arithmetic sequence, we can solve what is missing. So, we just substitute. What is a sub n? Our a sub n is 25, so we have here 25 is equal to our first term, which is 5, plus our n is 6 minus 1 times our common difference, which is missing. So we have here 25 is equal to 5 plus 5d. Now, we combine terms, similar terms. So 25 and 5, so this will give us 20 because we transpose 5 here, so it will become negative. 20 is equal to 5d. Then divide the equation by 5 to get the value for d. So our common difference, therefore, is equal to 4. We cancel out. Our common difference, therefore, is 4. What we are going to do with 4? We just add to the preceding number to get the next number, or we just subtract to the last number to get the preceding number. So this is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. Plus 4 is 13. Plus 4 is 17. Plus 4 is 21. Plus 4 is 25. So your arithmetic means between 5 and 25 are 9, 13, 17, and 21. So we inserted 4 arithmetic means between... 5 and 25. So that's all for today again. Great 10 learners, hope you can solve for arithmetic means now by applying the formula. As long as you have two terms given, you can easily solve for the missing term. It's teacher yet again till our next session. Goodbye!